Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial once again, after 10 months of making my last one. This is once again how to make skim packs, so if you found my old video, I'm giving you the new and improved. This is going to be so much better, I'm going to cover a lot of stuff I might have missed in the last one. I'm just going to hope I don't miss anything again. And if I do, well, in another 10 months I guess I'm going to be making this, but you're here to make skim packs for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now. I'm going to give a heads up, I've heard there's ways to do this on Xbox, I'm pretty sure you could do this on a phone, I'm doing it on PC because I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, I'm making this video currently in Minecraft version 1.14.60, but if this still works in future versions I'll keep updating the title. Just keep in mind of that, uh, there also may means that there might be more to this in the future. But if it if the general purpose of this tutorial still works, I'll update the title. If it stops working eventually, I'll make a new video, obviously. Uh, before we get into this, I'd just like to give some program recommendations for actually uh, doing this. Well, not just this, but if you're making skins, there's uh, Paint.net and Blockbench. Also, the links for this will all be in the description, too. But uh, Paint.net, it's just a general photo editor. You can do a, quite a lot in it. Think of just a bit of a watered-down Photoshop. I personally make all my skins in that, but if you need like the 3D modeling, I recommend Blockbench. Um, I'm not entirely sure how Blockbench works for making skins and stuff, but I heard that it's worked, so you'll just have to take my word for that. And then one program that actually does apply here is uh, Notepad++. It's just a general coding application. It's free. It makes this very easy, to say the least. Just one more thing to note, the, this tutorial should work on all versions of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which includes uh, Xbox, PC, phone, PlayStation, I think, uh, Switch, but really the main thing is, is you need to make the pack and then you somehow to get it, need to get it onto that device. So like for Switch, for example, I don't know how you would get the files on there, so technically it works on there, it's just a matter of getting it onto the, you know, Switch. Just keep that clear, but let's uh, let's get started with this here. So first of all, you want to open your file explorer, and then the first thing you want to do is come up here to view, and you want to make sure hidden items is checked and check file name extensions. These are both very important for later in this. You'll see I have com.mojang pinned here. Uh, you're not going to have this pinned. You're going to have to find it, and the easiest way to do that is you come down here to your C drive. You go to users find your username and then you gotta find app data which I am blind it's right there you go to local um, you need to find packages in here there it is and then you need to find microsoft.minecraftuwp underscore and it'll just be a bunch of random characters this one can be a bit of a pain to find cuz it's surrounded by other things that start with an M but it's right here after this you need to go to local state you go to games com.mojang skim packs um, if you want if you want a tip for if you're making anything else for this version of minecraft you go here you go to home you pin this to quick access cuz then you never have to go through that long thing here i also leave the uh, pathway in the description and on the video just so you guys can find this easier and you can see I have already done a lot here, but what you're going to want to do is do this. You make a new folder. I'm going to call mine YouTube Tutorial. You can call this whatever the hell you want, but uh, the folder name does not matter too much. And you're going to want to make a new folder in here, call it text, and then you want to make a new text document. Now this is where it gets a little wonky and Notepad++ is kind of useful. So this is what you're going to want to make. You want to make this one, the manifest.json. It'll ask you if you want to do that. You say yes. And just ahead of time, so you know how to do this, um, you're probably not going to be able to open this. If you download Notepad++, you'll have this right here. But what I recommend doing is you go to Open With. You do Choose Another App. It'll take a second to load. This comes up. If you don't have Notepad++, you just do Notepad, but I'm using Notepad++. You check always use this, you're done. And that's actually going to open for me real quick, but I don't want it to. And then, before this opens, quickly make a another file here called skins.json. 
and I am going to quickly grab some random skins from other packs I made. Alrighty guys, I got my skins and I forgot one thing here. You want to go into the text folder, make a third text document, you want to call it en underscore us dot, actually, just rename text to lang, but it should be that, you know, un en underscore us dot lang. That's just going to be the file that uh, is what you actually name your skins in. And because it's not a dot json, it's a dot lang, you'll have to do the open with again there. But we're going to first do the manifest. We'll bring this up, and I will paste the exact coding I'm using here in the description just so it's easier for you guys to follow. But this is what you'll have. This is your manifest. The first thing you want to do is come here to skin pack n name. And you want to put that as the name of your skin pack, obviously by the title. After you put the name in, the next thing you have is the UUID. Uh, there will be a link to UUIDgenerator.net in the description. You want to use gener or, uh, UUID version 4, I believe. Oh, I, not that I believe. You have to. Uh, but yes, I'm going to quickly copy the first one here. Alright, and then after that, you guys want to come down to the UUID 2. Um, on the site, you just refresh the page, it generates you a new one. I'm sure you guys can figure that out and all. These should both be different. They should not be the same in under any <laughs> under any circumstance. They should not be the same. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do for this, I believe. So you save that, come back over to here, go to your skins.json. Now this is where it gets a little complicated, and if you're going to have problems with your pack, this is most likely where it's going to be. But to start, so you want to start here. Your localization name, I recommend you abbreviate this. Um, as you can see, I don't really need to abbreviate because they're really simple names. But say you have like, say you're making like a personal skin pack, you have like a medieval skin, a futuristic skin. I'd recommend you change it so this would be like MS for medieval, this would be FS for futuristic. You just want to do stuff like that, it'll make your life so much easier in the future. But I'm just going to do one because my file names are super simple. So, there's one. Now if you have multiple, you want to copy this block of text here. And I have three here, so I'm going to do that. But you want to make sure every single one has a comma right here, except for your last one. If this last one has a comma, it will not work. Trust me, because so many people have had problems with this in the last one. Make sure you don't put a comma on the last one. Also, I'm going to quickly put this all in. And my last one will be three. And my last one, you'll notice it's a slim model. If you have one of the you know, female slim skins, you just type slim like that. Make sure it's capital, that does matter. But this will make it the slim armed model. Quickly put that in. Then down here at the bottom, serialized name, you can just put in whatever you want. Well, whatever. Yes, whatever you want. It'll be, it's going to be your skin pack name. And then down here, once again, I recommend abbreviating it. So, for example, mine's YouTube tutorial, so I'm just going to put YTT YouTube tutorial, you know. You get the idea. We'll save that. Then finally, you want to come down here to the ENUS Lang. And this is a super simple one. It just looks like that. So we're going to start with the bottom one for simplicity. You see it says localization name. That just means that abbreviated one. So I want to put YTT in there. And then it says equals. You just put the actual name that you want to display in the game right there. And this one's a bit more of a pain. So you see it says skimpack.skimpack .skin localization name. That's the YTT, like I said already. You want to make sure you do that right. And then you do the skin localization name, which we come back here to the uh, skins.json. That is this abbreviated name that we put in. So that for this first one, it would just be one, and we'll call it uh, skin one. Now we just copy that, paste it in a few times, and then we have two, which is skin two. We have skin three, which is skin three. Save that. Now this is pretty much a completed skin pack. Uh, I'll load the game real quick and we'll sh I'll show you guys that.
Alright, so we're actually in the game now, so to get to your skins, you first want to go to uh, Profile here, you go to Edit Character, and it's going to be this middle tab under Owned. And you can see I got a bunch of skin packs in here already, but you can find the tutorial one right here. Uh, you can see all the skins are in here, it's got the proper names and everything, and this is what I mean by uh, the Slim Arms, is that it makes them smaller, like that, just in case you didn't know what the difference was. But uh, we're now going to go to troubleshooting the pack here. So really, the only issues that I've seen people have was, for example, in Manifest. Say I forgot this. This is just any typo at all on the Manifest. We'll save that. We'll load into the game. And then now that we're in the game, we come in here. You know, you come to see if your pack's here. That typo in the Manifest will not make the skin pack appear at all. Period. Like... If you if there's anything wrong in the manifest, it's not going to show up. So that's the first major issue I've seen before. The other big error I've seen is if you put a typo into your skins.json, we'll load into the game real quick, and if you come over here into your skins, you come here, you'll find this. This is the pack right here, but that typo in the skins.json um, makes it come up like this. So if it, if you're getting this, that's an issue in the skins.json. Just find whatever typo you made. It should work again. And if you if you fi if you go through everything and you absolutely cannot figure out what's wrong, uh, you should be able to find my Discord in the description. Uh, go on there, private message me. I'll try to help you out. But yes, <laughs> before you do anything like that, just make sure you try one of these two things first. This also can happen if you have a one of your file names named differently than you do in the actual skins.json so just check through all that before you do anything like it doesn't work you know what i mean just make sure you troubleshoot all right and one more thing before we finish off this tutorial here is uh you might have noticed if you ever gone to like a site like mcpedl that some skin packs and some texture packs have a like dot mc pack extension and you just click it it opens uh that is very easy to do uh, the first thing you want to do is you just highlight all this, and I'm going to be using WinRAR, but one e one way to make this, because you have to make a zip folder, is you just go to send to, and you make it into a zip folder here. But I'm doing WinRAR, because I'm fancy like that. But you want to select zip file, hit OK, you'll get this, and then you just want to do this. You just name .zip to mcpack, and you're done. You just double click that, it opens, it'll import the pack for you or whoever you send it to. It is a very nice thing to have. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not a whole lot to making skin packs, it's actually a very simple process. Uh, you can find all the programs I mentioned at the beginning, you'll find links to all of them in the description, you'll find all the uh, codes and stuff you need to put into these files in the description. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful. I hope you guys have a fun time making your skins and skin packs, but I will see you in the next video.